Okay, here, let's go ahead and read it. We have that 64%, according to some survey, 64% of murders committed last year were cleared by arrest or exceptional means. Cleared by arrest or exceptional means. All right, so those murders were cleared. Um, 50 murders are randomly selected. And the number cleared by arrest or exceptional means is recorded. So there's a random variable X, which stands for the number of murders that were cleared by exceptional means, arrest or exceptional means. So they choose, they randomly chose 50, and a number of those are cleared by arrest or exceptional means. Oh, okay. We're, we're curious about, for part A, like, what's the probability that exactly 40, exactly 40 of the murders were cleared by arrest or exceptional means? They were cleared, right? We could do that using binomial. We can just say binom PDF, because it says exactly 40, PDF. Uh, and so 50 is the sample size, 0.64, and then 40. So we're getting exactly. Part B, it says it wants the probability that between 36 and 38 of the murders were cleared. That's a little bit tougher to do on binome PDF. You would actually have to find, do it the following way. You do binome. So really, you got to think about it like there's... 0, 1, dot, 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 35, 36, 37, 38, dot, 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 all the way to 50, actually, right? So we want between 36 and 38. So what we're going to do is we're going to find all the... We're going to do it the following way. So binome CDF. 50 comma point 64 comma 38 that gives us from 0 to 38 and then we need to subtract off 0 to 35 so minus binome cdf 50.64 comma 35 so that's how we do part b so that would be for part b this is part a Part C, would it be unusual if fewer than 18 of the murders were cleared? Why or why not? It wants us to do this by thinking about the fact that if you have a mean in the middle and you you add and subtract 2 sigma and then here you, you add 2 sigma, these are like the usual values. So then unusual would be out here. So we, we, we have to find mu minus 2 sigma. Um, for a binomial situation, mu equals to n times p and sigma equals square root of n p q. So what is n? n is 50. p is 0.64. So the mean is 50 times 0.64. And the stent, which is thirty two, the standard deviation square root of actually, and there's an NP in there, so I can just say thirty two times point or Q is going to be 30, 36. The opposite of 64 is 36. The complement, actually. What is this? Let's see. Square root 32 times 0 0.36. 3.39. So we have the mean, which is 32, minus 2 times that standard deviation gives us a lower bound of 